I'm Kyle Ingham from The Distilled Man, and up next we're going to talk about one of the classic cocktails, the Martini. So the Martini has been a staple of American cocktail culture since the 1800s when it was invented. And just how it was invented or where it was invented is still kind of up for debate. You know, one of the stories says that it was invented in San Francisco in a bar. Another says that it was invented in New York in a bar. Yet another story goes that it got its name and was invented by an Italian vermouth manufacturer named Martini, which you now know as Martini and Rossi. But my favorite story about the origin of the Martini uh, takes place in a little town in California called Martinez. And the story goes that a miner in 1849, or thereabouts, came through Martinez because he had just struck gold and he wanted to celebrate. So he goes straight to one of the main bars there and says, Bartender, give me some champagne. Yeah, he wanted to celebrate. And the bartender's like, come on, like, look around. We don't have any champagne. But we have something better. It's called the Martinez Special. And what he proceeded to whip up, it almost sounds like he just kind of threw it together based on what he had. So it was maraschino liqueur, some bitters, some gin, some vermouth, and a slice of lemon. So whether or not he was trying to kind of put one over on the miner or not, it doesn't really matter because the miner loved it. And he proceeded to tell everybody across California essentially how, how great this drink was. And pretty soon, news of the Martinez spread like wildfire. And gradually, I think probably I'm guessing after many slurred attempts at ordering it, the Martinez became the Martini. And it's probably around the same time too that the recipe was simplified to just being what it is now, which is gin and vermouth. Now, the Martini was a really popular drink during Prohibition, partly because gin was so easy to make compared to whiskey, which of course requires aging. Now, a couple things to clear up about the martini before we go any further. Number one, the martini is made with gin. And so if you want something with vodka in it, if you want a martini with vodka in it, you do have to request a vodka martini. Some people aren't totally clear on that. Number two, even a dry martini does have some vermouth in it. There's a lot of bartenders out there that will serve chilled gin and call it a dry martini. But you know what, in my opinion, that's just chilled gin. And if that's what you want to drink, fine, but don't call it a martini. Uh, although I still am very, very amused by the story of Winston Churchill, who apparently hated vermouth so much that he had a legendary uh, martini recipe that involved him observing the vermouth across the room while he drank his chilled gin. Now, the ratio of gin to vermouth has been in constant flux since the drink was really invented. Now, around the turn of the 20th century, the ratio is actually more like one to one, so equal parts vermouth, equal parts gin. Now, around the 30s and 40s, shortly after Prohibition, the ratio was changed to around 3 to 1 or 4 to 1, so gin to vermouth. And then, at the late 20th century, there was almost a, like a, a revolt against vermouth, uh, which, which, which sucks because it's not, it's not a bad thing. Vermouth is not bad. And some of the drinks that were being made, the dry martinis, were like 50 to 1 or 100 to 1, so they were barely putting any vermouth in their martinis at all. Some of the bartenders would just swill it around in the glass, throw it out, and then put the chilled gin in there and call it a martini. But again, it was maybe a little too dry for my taste. Well, so let's look at how to make it. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to first start with your martini glass filled with a little bit of water and some ice, and you're going to kind of set that aside to chill. Then what you want to do is take your mixer with a little bit of ice in it, and put a little bit of gin in it, about two and a half ounces. Then we're going to take some vermouth, do about a half an ounce, really not too much. Add that in. And you want to stir this for maybe a good 15-20 seconds, maybe even longer. The idea is really to really chill the gin and the vermouth. 
Okay, shaken versus stirred. If you've seen any Bond movie, you know that James Bond always ordered vodka martini, shaken, not stirred. But, you know, he was kind of an oddball because I don't think that's really the best way to have a martini. And there's a couple of reasons for that. I mean, how you prepare your cocktails is your business. If you have a certain preference, that's totally fine. But I think there are three reasons why you should not shake your martini and why you should stir it instead. Number one, when you shake it, what you're doing is actually breaking off small pieces of ice and you're diluting the drink a little bit more than you really should. Number two, when you're shaking the, the gin vigorously like that, what you're doing is actually disrupting some of the essential oils in the gin itself, the, the, the thing that gives it not only its flavor, but also uh, gives it its texture. And so you're actually changing the mouthfeel of the gin. And finally, number three, when you shake it, with that vigorous action, you are actually making the drink a little cloudier. And I think one of the charming things about a martini is it's just so pure and so clean and crisp. And even the visual reflects that when, it, when it's done right, because it is a clear, clear drink. All right. Then we'll pour out our water. It's nice and cold. You can see? And what we want to do is strain out Actually, get more water out there. There we go. Boom. Now, for garnish, you can either use olives or you can use lemon. And I actually really like lemon. So, what I'm going to do is do a little lemon twist using this little divoted lemon twist maker thingy. Rub that around the edge. There we go. And you have your martini. Mmm. Very refreshing. Definitely recommend you try it at home. If you do give it a try, please let me know how it goes in the comments. Cheers. Alright, well I hope you enjoyed the video. If so, please hit like below. And if you want to see more videos like this, you can hit this button here and subscribe to the Distilled Man YouTube channel. And if you haven't already gotten a copy, click on screen right now and you can get my free 42-page ebook. Thanks again for watching, and until next time.